Hey YouTube, uh, here's my first chore which I've been using for for three years almost and then it's end up in the closet because uh, this is actually the big brother of the smaller unit from the Coens which is 450 and that one is actually 800 version of the model which um, I, w I, w I was using before for, for, the, for cooling my CPU, some graphic cards so far it's able to handle it uh, at least one CPU motherboard and might be two graphic cards if you don't 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 push too much high wall voltage so what what it does um, the actual the model number 800 what it stands for it means it will be able to to take off like eight 800 watt of the power from the from your CPU or graphic cards, whatever the components you you trying to cool. So the maximum capacity of this chiller, this compressor, can handle is 800 watts. If if you try to cool like I did it before, four graphic cards uh, was did it. I did it four Titans. It was the first generation Titans, like long time ago, and the the coolant inside literally got hot because the chiller was unable to chill that water and cool cool it down so it was it produces so much those all those components produce so much heat so 800 watt was unable to cool down so but you pretty much will be safe with uh, two GPUs and one CPU with a little bit overclock so and what I'm planning to do I uh, will install this machine back into my new rig which will be uh, Installed in, in this Invin case, it's a 925 model. I will probably do not another review for this particular case. It's a nice case, and yeah, I would like to talk more about it. So yeah, um, what I did, it was sitting actually after three years. Uh, it was sitting in my closet for, for my before years. So I decided to take it out apart and clean up because there was a lot of dust inside. And I just want to show you like how the quality wise build because it's, it's actually still working, you know, like after three years Look at that. That's the um, coolant's uh, pump. It's still operating all those uh, fittings, you know This is the inside reservoir, which is also uh, insulated with this little foam uh, That protects against heat because that that compressor. This is the compressor and this compressor produces a lot of heat. It's like your refrigerator compressor. If you if you put your like your your hand behind the fridge, like I have a fridge right here. This is for a cigar. So behind it's actually running a little bit of heat. But the compressor inside this one is even smaller than that one over here. So but your regular refrigerator might might be probably a little bit twice bigger. But still, this one produces so much heat that the room temperature gets high. That's the reason I, I've got that fan exhausting the air from this little smaller browser, which is only uh, compressor here, even twice smaller than compressor in the big brother, which is 800 model. So yeah that thing produces so much heat that you if you have a 120 square foot room you will run nuts during the summertime you know like even at winter the actual humidity will goes down because it will dry out your room you know like so you you, you need something to exhaust that um heat out of your room otherwise uh you'll end up like me like come up with something like this you know like the horses running through the attic which is works very nice you know that that awesome that thing i have in the description in, a, in the previous video so you can just check it out i think on amazon so yeah uh this is what it looks it has um it's actually all loops are also insulated inside because as a because of the heat as i mentioned you can't see it from here but there is another loop over there because this one the reason this one not insulated is just for the measurement purposes to see how much liquid you have inside so it goes back into the reservoir and this one for the drain port which just for the draining you also have two fill um in out and those two actually insulated because this is where the actual liquid running to and from um, the chiller. So yeah, uh, as you can see, it's just a lot of dirt inside because they like, dust. So I try to blow it with the blower, clean it. Um, everything works, you know. Nothing. Um, display, you know, it's not connected yet. So I mean, at least that's the actual model number. X800 chiller, and the only thing um, you will notice there is a this fan grease is a little bit of rust, you know. And the reason this rust because um, 
during the summertime I put this chiller inside my um, AC storage box which goes outside the house and you know when the rain was so some drops hit that so basically this is not stainless steel I assume that's why it's rusted so a little bit of rain water went on it and that's how you end up all these three grids are rusted but uh, other than that everything works fans works so nothing wrong with that and yeah uh, it, it costs some some money of the chiller but it's still operating after three years no issues you know like and so on we will be installing back and running um, to cool my 18 core CPU it's i9 10 980 which is I uh, recently bought it and motherboard so that's it just uh, two components pretty much the, the most of it will uh, cool the CPU which will try to overclock it as much as possible and just to see how it will be handling because I think that little thing for 450 uh, it actually should be able to handle it one CPU in a mobile but if you do like a little higher overclock if your CPU will drain like I don't know maybe like 250 300 watts I have no idea how that CPU will be able to you already like will only left 150 motherboard might be will take another 50 so yeah I think you should be good with this one too but this piece is actually like kind of noisy in a way because the compressor inside never stops it's just literally working like continuously because of the size and this one uh, is much bigger so it turns on and back and on and off like every 30 seconds so it's kind of less noisy you know the only you will hear those fans, three fans, which are spinning 100 percent RPM, and they kind of yeah, that's the only the fans. But here you also have two fans, so don't forget over there three. Here is two, so you got one extra fan over here. But the compressor <coughs> pretty much stays off for every other thirty seconds. Um, yeah, uh, here is the <coughs> filling port for the liquid. As I mentioned before, the drain over here, power cord. You want you don't have the the unit comes without power cords. So you 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 should have your own, but uh, it shouldn't be a problem. You can connect literally anything from your monitor or computer. Uh, this is uh, temperature control sensors and some other devices you can buy separately from Coolens. Never try them. I don't need it. Um, it the also the unit uh, comes with the special device that turns on and off automatically, so you don't have to click this button so look, generally this is always on when the computer turns off the unit turns off when the computer is on the unit turns on and it's controlled by the special device I will look for it uh, but at, at this point um, I don't use it because I have that separate um, uh, outlet which also powered by a computer and it automatically on and off so but it's not a greatest idea to use so you better use the actual original device that comes with the unit and we will be installing later once we get the system back and forth and running uh, yep <clears throat> so that's one more look we're gonna put the cover back then and yeah also not to mention uh, the liquid inside is actually the liquid inside that I put away yesterday it was four years old <laughs> so yeah three years in use one year in the storage and you know what? The color uh, it was a green, so it was the same color and consistency like you literally put it on day one. So, while I love these chillers, you don't have to uh, maintain your coins uh, every one or two years, like the manufacturer has stated, because it 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 actually stays as a new. See, so no color imperfection. Um, it's literally just like chilled water, you know, under normal temperature, so it never goes hot like in ambient systems, and that's why I guess the liquid uh, stays good, and that's the one I actually use it. So I bought, I actually bought a new one just in case because that one was too old. So that's the same stuff I used before, and it was nothing was wrong with it, you know. But I just put it away, and since it's a new build, we're gonna use a new five gallon. Of the new stuff so yeah um, that's another reason why the chillers are good plus you don't have to buy a bunch of those radiators fans so all you do is just connect um, connect the actual acrylic tubing where 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 needed and run two 
run to in and out with the um, forgot what how those fittings called uh treaded something pass oh pass through pass through fitting so you run on the other side with the you can either use this quick disconnects this is not the way i'm gonna do it on a new build logistic is the same but this quick disconnects will be located actually in the middle of somewhere and uh, because you see it's kind of bending over here so whenever you push against the wall it's got bended which is no good you know like and you you, you have to like preserve like another like eight eight inches of space between your rig and the wall so i don't like that it's just not the way i want it and but other than that it's all good uh as you can see it's clean and nice no fans no radiators nothing it's just your i mean it is just a kind of bulky chiller sitting behind your <laughs> computer <laughs> which you you don't see it in the lake and yep this is everything um once we hopefully it's gonna take me another two three weeks i'm just still waiting for the last component part which is the um water block it's a mono water block mono mono block from bits power that's for cpu and motherboard at the same time for my rampage 5 in core and they still manufacturing so i tell them to ship it as soon as possible once the first once once the first piece is completed they should ship it by the fedex should have it in a couple of days but it, it might take another two three weeks and yeah another week to build the rig and hopefully then we're gonna do some testings with the cpu and this chiller again just to see how it performs yep this is everything thank you for watching